It's real late and I, you know, I'm in the train station. You know, I've had a lot of beers, officer. I had a lot to, you know, really unleash in the bowel area, you know. I don't really uh, usually like to go in the train station bathrooms because of the, the germs and all that, you know. Obviously. I decided to go anyway because I'm real busted and I'm a little tipsy, uh, honestly, officer. Not now, but I was. I just start, like, unleash my bowels. So it's like, pfft, makes that loud noise. And I'm like, ah, this feels great. It feels real good, officer. But then this guy walks into the toilet. I'm like, that's a bit funny. Another guy in the toilet this time of night. There's plenty of space for the both of us. But he chooses to go on the one next to me. And I'm like, this is a little weird. Personal space. Then he pulls out a knife, officer. He pulls out a knife and he points it at me threateningly. And he says, listen, buddy, give me your wallet. He didn't say buddy, though. He says something ruder. I don't want to say that to you, officer, because you're an officer of the law and I don't want to disrespect you. I go, oh, uh, uh. And he goes, give me your money, buddy. Except he doesn't say buddy. I start freaking out because in my wallet is the money. I need to get for my bus home. So I'm thinking all these ways I can bargain and, you know, keep my money. So I start telling him, what are you doing, buddy? Hugging people in train station at night. Don't you know that's an immoral thing to do? And he says, I don't really care. I'm an immoral person than that. He seems like a bad bloke officer. He's clearly not letting me go without getting my money first. So what I do, I say, listen, buddy, I'm a little tipsy. I gotta get my bus home. I gotta pay for my bus fare. I need my wallet, man. And he is like, no, I'm mugging you. You know, I could have died, officer, if I walked out and drunk. But he doesn't care. He just says, give me your wallet, buddy. I ask him why, why he's robbing people in train stations at night, and he says, because uh, I'm an immoral person. He seems like a real bad dude, officer. I think of other ways to buy me time until someone else can come and rescue me. So, officer, I say, I'm gonna give you my wallet, but I don't wanna give you my wallet if it's got pee germs on it, because my hands are covered in pee, officer, because I've just been peeing. I don't like germs, you don't like germs, probably. What about we go to the sink, I wash my hands, Try them, and then I'll give you my wallet. He kind of gives in, he's like, okay. I know it sounds unreasonable that you do that, or it sounds like uh, not in character for him. But this is what really happened, officer. I don't know why, he just let me wash my hands. He's got some humanity, you know? He doesn't want a dirty wallet, so he follows me to the hand washing facility. And again, I'm trying to buy time, officer, so I really stretches out as long as I can. I'm looking down at the bar of soap. Again, I'm trying to buy time, officer. So I say, look at this bar of soap. It's so dirty. It's got like um, pee germs, poo germs, have other people on them. God knows what else germs it has in it. But right now, I just had my own pee germs. Surely, I'd get my hands dirtier and they'd be cleaner if I just left uh, the hand washing part alone. So I start telling the mugger this. And the mugger, he gets real tired after 20, 30 seconds. I know it, it sounds suspicious that he'd wait 20 or 30, or did I say 10 seconds? Honestly, officer, I can't really remember too much the details of it. At this point, I am buying time, clearly. And this guy starts getting a bit impatient with me. He's like, finish up, buddy. He doesn't say buddy. He says something ruder. But the mugger's like, you got to give me a wallet now. I, again, I'm trying to buy more time, but no one's arrived at this point to rescue me. Where were you? Officer? My last resort is to dry my hand. My hands are still soaking wet. If I got my wallet, and I picked up and it slipped on my own hands, it just gets dirty on the floor. I'm not uh, much of a germaphobe, but I'm banking on this mugger being a germaphobe. It doesn't look like he is because he just says, give me the wallet now. So he doesn't say, give me the wallet now. He says another word that's rude. And by this point, officer, there's nothing much else I can do. But I need that bus home, officer. I need it so bad. It's like three hours walk to my house. So I can't just go home without any money and nobody's gonna let me get a ride for free. So I say, I just gotta dry my hands first. And my, the hand dryer would be loud enough it send out some kind of distress signal. I got to dry my hands, but he says no. And I say, why not? And he says no. He doesn't care about the germs. He just wants me to give him my wallet. This is it, officer. I can't do anything. But then I think, what if I... So I push him out the door. Push him out to the train station platform. We're wrestling about. And pushing around. Pushing around. It's getting dangerously close. He's got his knife real close to my throat. And I think, this is the end. This is the end. We're gonna die. And he's like, buddy, I don't actually care about your wallet. I just want to kill you. I'm a psychopath and I want to kill you. And I go, oh god, he's going to kill me. The only way I can get out of this, officer, is if I kill him. I'm not getting out of this alive if I just go along with what he says. And I see the train coming. Chug, 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 chug. I'm standing there and I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? He's going to roll me onto the platform. He's going to kill me. But this guy, he's, he's got the knife close to me. Close to my throat and he's saying, I don't actually care about the money. I'm a psychopath and I'm going to kill you anyway. And I see the train coming. It's coming. Coming closer, closer, closer. And then. <laughs> And then I push him onto the platform. I push him down. The train doesn't see him coming. And it slams him and he's dead. And I'm there and I'm alive. And before I know it, you guys arrived. And uh, I'm glad you did. You could have arrived a bit earlier to save me, but anyway. If you look at the security footage and it looks like, it, it, it doesn't look like what I've said, if it looks like I'm taking the crow and I just push him on there, you weren't there. You don't know how it really looked like. Officer, I know it looks a bit weird if he doesn't have a knife on him or if he doesn't look like a mugger type. I did. Trust me. I, I did. Trust this. me. I mean, I trust, trust me. me. I mean, I, uh, I didn't mean to do it. I had to kill him because I had to get the bus home. And if you see the CTV and that doesn't add up, it's because the CCTV's wrong. They can do that. You can do that. Can be that. You can be wrong sometimes. I stayed to it by for you to ask me the questions, but now when I can't get a lift from the bus. So I gotta walk home in the cold and Officer, uh, I just I just wanna go home. Could I go home? Well yeah. Basically I I'm wondering if I could get a lift home, officer. I just 
Covered in the car, yeah? Wait, officer, what are you doing? Officer, officer, uncuff me. Uncuff me, officer. You know I'm innocent. I'm an innocent man. I want to go home, officer. I need to go home. I, you can't do this to me, officer. Let me go. Let me go. Officer, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I didn't do it for no reason. Why would I want to do it for no reason? It's because he had an employment with me. You know, I just, I just, I just wonder about the soap, officer. I just wonder about it because, because, because what if my hands are dirty? I never should have touched it, officer. I never should have touched that bar of soap because now it's dirty and I'm, I'm dirty with it. Stick to your own pee jumps. That's what I say, officer. Stick to your own pee jumps.